and welcome to the episode of Pop Culture Unboxing. And today we have the Hard Pack Blu ray for December 2019. This is, it's like, it's DVD counterpart. I know this is the, the Blu ray. We <laughs> opened up DVD one the other day. Uh, for DVDs, $25 a month. Uh, you get a uh, cheaper. Sometimes the they'll go for a cheaper thing, like a couple of bucks off. Um, but they usually they'll sometimes even offer more movies. Just the four ones. Uh, they'll, they'll have like double packs and, and stuff like that. And so, so it's supposed to have like the DVD a, a Christmassy one. Uh, the problem is again this was supposed to this should have been here on Tuesday. It wasn't because somebody decided not to want to have to deliver it on Christmas. So they held it up in the, at, at Jersey City in the, for an extra day. Yeah. For long they should have. Why is this built thinner? This. And his far is like, wait a minute, why does it feel like her? Oh. <laughs> okay. And this will also have a limited edition. It's exclusive to a uh, hardback every month. Uh, usually on Blu-ray. Sometimes on DVD. They do it sometimes on DVD one. So yeah. First things first is... I think I've heard of this. M. Green presents Victor Crowley. The fourth so entry in the Hatcher series. This is the bloodiest, funniest, and best hatchet movie to date. Return to Swamp. Hmm. I, I heard of this one, but I've heard of the, the Hatcher series and the character. A puzzle and read it. Um, Bud Spears' bodies are hacked and stacked, and Victor looks more menacing than ever before. It's mildly written in that racially funny, incredibly gory. In 20, 2007, over 40 people were really torn to pieces in Louisiana, Honey Island Swamp. Over the past decade, lone survivor Andrew claims that legend Victor Crowley, who became high, are responsible for the horrific massacre of have been met with great controversy. Where twist of fate puts him back at the scene of the tragedy, mistakenly resurrected and Crowley is mistakenly resurrected and Andrew must face a bloodthirsty ghost from the past. Featuring Laura Ortiz, Brian Quinn, and writer director Am Green try to return the helm of the beloved slasher series. Crowley ensures on the horrifying journey and in a haunting, bloody drenched by you. Commentary with director Adam Green, actors Perry Sheen, uh, Perry Sheen, Laura Ortiz, and David Sheridan. Technical commentary with Green, cinematographer John Michael, Wazanda, Erna Matt Lawn, Elitham, and makeup expert, art, makeup FX artist Robert Panagraf. Raising the Dead again with Everyone, Aaron Green, behind the scenes and trailer teaser. Okay. That could be good. Next is. Oh, I, I have no idea. Well, this one's. A, I'm, I don't know this one. This one is. The Reef. Pray that you drown first, based on a true story. It's like a shark movie. I'm not sure how much is based on a true story. But. With it. Well, you can't see Ken eat you. Given the remnants of open war, I like the reef better and more suspenseful and scary. On the beautiful but shark infested waters of Australia, great barrier reef ship delivery man Luke and his four hot carefree friends in a yacht sail a yacht through paradise. Along the way, the ship is torn apart, open by sharp rocks and begins to sink. 
leaving the Panthers with a terrifying choice. Stay on board with a slim chance of rescue or swim 12 miles to the nearest island. There was a sea of bloodthirsty unseen nature. Unseen nature. When they enter the, the water, you run this great white and merely follow the trail for a white knuckle chase through the waters with blood. From the director of the claimed monster hit black water comes a pulse pounding, a visual stunning thriller. Never lets go with, until the final, final heart stopping scream. Special features include shooting with, shooting with the sharks, making a feature in the trailer. Okay, that could be interesting. Next we have Ooh, it is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. This is the Christmas one. I'm dreaming of White Doomsday. Okay. Never read that one. Can pause and read. A psychological tour de force from the writer director Mike Lambert of the Stall of Long Pink. Is that going to produce a Brian Keane? Comes what East Coast horror group called the Gut Punching Holiday Film of the Year. White Doomsday is the story of Kelly and her son Riley weathering the end times in a bomb shelter amongst the ruined that was what that was once the world. Christmas Eve approaching and supplies and hope steadily declining. Kyle Kelly must make a horrifying decision that will cause her to find out just how far she would go for a child. Starring Hope Becky, Damien Neefel, and interesting Reeve Blaze as Riley. I'm dreaming of White Doomsday is a bleak, thoughtful, character driven piece with an ending that will have you staring out of the theaters. Whew. I can't be what watch. And the last one is I have no idea. Special collector edition climax. Okay. Pause it, read it. This video is only 30 minutes long. For the director, Gaspar No No Neil comes on a hypnotic, evolutionary, and ultimate hair raising de depiction of a party that the deep descends of the delirium of the course of a one wintery night. Tracking the journey from jubilation to chaos and full fledged anarchy. Noe deserves crushes, rivalries, violence, and collective psychedelic meltdown. Starring Sophia Boletta, a cast of professional dancers, climaxes Noah's most bizarre visionary statement yet. Featuring army commentary with the director and into the, to the void, a brand new interview with guest for Noe with the director. Uh, um, performing climax, the only Produced feature uh comprising interviews with actors Kidley Smell, Roman Guthley, and so, um, Disco Eternal, Sound of the Sound of the Movie, Sham of the Screen, the films of the director in the trailer. Hmm. I have no idea. Looks weird. I mean, it's supposedly started fight fresh. So, that looks weird. That could be interesting one to watch. That's good. I mean, nothing I really know, but it's always... But, that's, you know, the, the, the one thing I heard of, of course, of Hatcher, but... Victor Crowley, but... These could be interesting. I mean, always looking for something new to check out and watch, and... And it's gonna be good, hopefully. Now I would. Y'all do sound interesting. 
But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So I got coming up. Uh, we're still waiting on the last mar uh, for her, for her box holiday box. Uh, still waiting until the Marvel ones. Um, ship next month, hopefully. So I just it's frustrating. It's should, they should have they should have made sure the holiday box shipped before Christmas. I mean, come on. I keep it up for January. So, yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's got coming up. Uh, gonna be doing more Let's Plays. Go to The Witcher 2, Final Fantasy 7 remake. Um, also, got coming up. And, uh,. Also, yeah, coming up, uh, including, uh, so, so much other good stuff still coming up in the 2020, and, uh, so, like I said, subscribe to this YouTube channel, also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch for all the live, uh, playthroughs, so much good stuff playing for 2020, so, yeah, until next time, we're going on one. Peace.